Jay, come to catch up with you because uh, after I, I know I know it wasn't the result you wanted, but as a boxing fan, you was in an epic epic fight uh, back where you returned on the 27th of uh, of April, um, back in February with with Leon Williams and. Yeah, it was. Um, what a way to round off the night, mate. A great fight, but uh, unfortunately, you know, it was Leon that come off the bat. But it was, um, yeah, certainly a good fight. And like you said before, one that I've answered a few questions to myself. And uh, well, I was, I was, was going to ask you yeah. on camera because uh, obviously going into that fight, you know, it, it, it was a wicked KO in the third round uh, the last time you met, and going into that fight because it was straight off it. Well, no, no, you'd actually had a. Uh, a little yeah, four down again. in black was it blackpool, blackpool was it? Yeah. yeah um yeah i got ended up with a cruise weight in a couple of days now yeah, yeah no. i got a, got a win anyway but in between but, but still going back into that fight you must have had a, a lot of little nagging questions in the back of your mind and i think with that performance even though it, it put you over um you must have answered them and, and it gives yeah. you great confidence for going forward i think to be honest i knew I was better than I showed in the first fight. Uh, I, I knew there was things that I'd let myself down on that I could fix and, and put right and do better if I got the chance to box him again. And you know, fair play to, to Leon because he didn't have to box me again. No. Um, so, it, you know, it was. Well, the first time he boxed, I, I, I always thought it was for the title, but it wasn't. It was just an eliminator. Yeah, just an so the second time, it was, there was no reason for him not to because there was, a, it was a something title on the line. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. So it was beneficial for both of you. Yeah. Um, uh, and like I say, it's amazing what that title does. It oh. brought something special out of you, brought something special out of him. Uh, and now, he, I think he's, he only fought a few weeks ago against uh, Ben Whitaker. Yeah, and, big stage. Uh, gave himself a, uh, did himself real justice there because a lot of people were saying, oh, he's, as they were saying about you, you're not going to do three rounds with him. Mm -hmm. um, they were saying he's not going to do two, uh, three rounds with, uh, with him, but he did. He did yeah. the eight rounds. And not only did he do eight rounds, he did eight rounds and asked a lot of questions. Yeah, Perhaps more questions than anyone's asked of uh, Ben Whitaker. I think he gave a very good account of himself and mm -hmm. uh, you know looked elusive at times. Um, I think it was hard for Whitaker to land on him. Uh, land as much as he would have liked to, probably. Um, and you know, asked some questions like you said and caught him with some good shots too. Um, after the first round, I think the nerves caught, sort of left him and he yeah, was able he, to he, go That on. was a slip, I think. I know there was yeah. a punch just before, but I think his back foot come off. Yeah. The, he seemed uh, to grow into the fight, didn't he? He did, he um, did. He, he, listen, it was a brilliant performance, but listen, he's had enough praise of everyone because, you know, the good thing about that was, it was a, even though he lost, yeah. um, it was a win for him because no one thought he was going to survive the no. fight. And... and he has questions and people know who he is now. Yeah. People well, know who Liam Williams is. I think you know I think the pair of us deserve to be on that on that stage. I think the fight that we had or both fights that we had with each other deserve to be on that stage. Yeah. And, you know, good for him. He's he's won the fight and gone on and, and got the um, got the stage which again I think he's he's worthy of. Well, I mean, we, we know uh, Leon carries serious power with that left hook of his, but I think the, the first put down in the in the second fight with him was was that an overhand right that he caught you with? Can't remember. What it was. Yeah, uh, in the in the, the, in the second fight, fight. Gone. Yeah. Uh, it was almost a carbon copy, mate. It was a perfectly timed left hook again. Oh, was it again? Right, yeah, right, um, it, is. Uh, it was. Uh, but that, that, mate, hats off to you. How you got up from that, I don't know. But I just, did. I'll be honest, I was. I think I was asleep. I, Hit the canvas and I, I, I just remember thinking, not again. <laughs> I rolled over and got up and like I didn't know what number the fucking referee was on or I just thought, well, I'm a long way, so I get up. You know, like you know, until it's happened to you. Now that's you know, you'd lost those two fights and both mm. of them were, 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 were heavy, heavy knockdowns. Mm. Uh, the one with Mickey Ellison and the one with Leon. And so obviously you must have a lot of doubt going in there. You answered that because you got up. Because you, you don't know how to how to react to that situation because mm. most people never get in that situation. Yeah. Now you got in there and you reacted to it and you got up and the next round, yeah. you won quite comfortably after being almost out on your feet. I truly never doubted myself from those knockdowns or those losses. It just, I, again, believe they're better to show and better to give and, and just carried on working hard in the gym and 
planned on, on showing that in the last one and I think you know at times I did like you say I come back and won rounds and I invite anybody to sit me down and talk me through how you get to 96, 92. No, no, I, but, I, listen, I, I thought um, it was a very close fight. I thought the, 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 the deciding factor that was a knockdown. Yeah, I, but I, I, take I, them out I, can't, I can't argue. I think you would have edged it. I can't argue with the, uh, with the result in terms of going his way, but I thought the scorecard was a bit harsh. Um, yeah, it was. It was 91, 96, I think it was, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, but, so it was you know, and in fairness to the referee, it's a very difficult job to score a fight and referee, and I think I, it's a I, bit I, harsh. Fours, sixes, yeah, I think it's a bit harsh to expect a referee to score something perfectly whilst judging, uh, sorry, whilst refereeing a fight over, over 10 rounds. I think it's hard. I, 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 don't, totally I know that's, I know totally that's how it is, and I think you can even do it at an English level, can't you? It's mm -hmm. not so British that it changes and you, and you need three judges, but I think when two lads are putting everything on the line like that, I think you need. I, I'm not saying it would have changed it, but you need. Three judges. I, I, I um, wouldn't argue with that, mate. But uh, just, you, just just put, you both did put everything on the line, and that's what made it so exciting. Yeah. I remember I was sat ringside watching it, and we had Nelson, who's um, uh, Leon's manager, and Stephen stood next to one another right behind me. And every time I looked behind to see what they were just smiling like yeah. I was, it yeah. was, you know, not because we enjoyed watching it, it was just a brilliant fight. The crowd went wild, mm. it was from start to, start to finish, non stop action. And everyone just said at the end of that, you know, just warriors, both of you. Yeah. It was. It, yeah, because, I mean, I got. It got wasn't all his. Even though he put you over three times, it yeah. wasn't one-way traffic. You were putting, you were applying pressure to him all the way through no, the fight. Like I said, I don't think that I was. I lost. Maybe the last round, but I, I don't think I lost any rounds. I didn't touch the canvas on. Um, in my opinion, I, I don't. But. Uh, yeah, so I, I thought it was the better box. I just, you know, he's, he's very, very fast and sharp and powerful with his counters, and he's, he, yes. you know, he, it's it's a big lad as well. Hence why. Well, this is what we're going to talk about we'll because we've spoken about it before, and uh, it's always sort of been, nah, we, we don't need to. We're all right because you're a former kickboxer. You've got huge legs, um, but you think now you can make super middleweight and uh, you would love to give that a go with the yeah. day before weighing. Day before weighing, that's where we're going to campaign. Um, we're going to move down to super middle and, and, and see because I'm 29 Libra, I've got, a, I've got a lot to give still, I've got a lot to chase, I've got a lot of things The ambition is still there, I've isn't it? I've got a lot of things I want to accomplish, I work very, very hard. As, as I well, I was watching you today, mate, and I, and I keep seeing every time I come down, you see, you, you're always evolving, mate. That's what I like about you. You're always working on something new, how to be better. And I know what all fighters do that, but I, I do see big changes in you. You know, because you, you, you've not got that amateur background um, of boxing. Yes? You, my you, schooling's been... Keep boxing. But my boxing schooling has been since I came to this gym and, yeah. and turned over, really. It's not, you know, it's... it's they're two different sports. There's some there's some correlation, some translation from one to the other, but it's a completely different. I always compare them to racket sports like badminton and tennis. It's not the same. There's some similarities, but it's not the same thing. Yeah. Um, and that's what kickboxing and boxing. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I love about this. You you and you, you got to admit, um, Rob is a great teacher and a great coach. Um, but you're always working on refining things that you do and there's a lot of things you do really well uh, this engine of yours you know the, the pace that you set is it's very hard to keep up with um but, but i've just been watching you today sitting out on power more you know getting those sharp little shots off you know in those combinations it was it was nice to watch man it was good to catch That's, up with you today no the time and effort robbie puts into me he, he analyzes things and right we need this right we're gonna add this and, work on that and put that together and then bring the whole package back together and, and every time it improves slightly mm -hmm. um, and that's you know, just a testament to his knowledge and, and being able to do that but like you said being just even being fit I think that's the one thing that probably got me through those knockdowns that fitness level of yours just being able to win the round after being knocked down just because I'm, I am super fit and I said to you down the day of the way and then that fitness isn't you know it's certainly not the problem yeah. um, and uh, I think I, you know. Well, I, I'd, I'd met you about four weeks before. We, I'd watched you, Joel, who's just been mm. here today, uh, had been on the body belt and uh, 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 spa mix with you. And uh, he pushed you really hard for 10 rounds. And yeah. he breathed through you. He wasn't even breathing heavy at the end no. of it. And I was like, how can you just do that? 
Yeah. Um, and then you went and did that in a fight with a say where you got put over, and one of them yeah. being a very heavy put down. Don't get me wrong, but I think you, I might have been breathing a little bit heavier in the fight. <laughs> it's just, yeah, if I wasn't so fit, I don't, I don't think I'd have got through it because there was some big shots, there was some times when my legs were not fully there. And, <laughs> um, it's just very powerful, Leo, on every land, you, you know. You know about it. Yeah. Um, you know, there might have been a couple of jabs where I didn't feel, but anything that he, he puts in, you, you feel it. He's very quick, he's very explosive with yeah. shots. Yeah. Even though, you know, when you're catching them and you might catch a left hook on, on your glove, but it, you're still getting that little flash of silver. Or you, well, like I said, I think he, he yeah. did himself proud, and I presume he'll get a good opportunity I coming so. off the back of that performance. And hopefully it. on the big stage. And, and you never know, you never know, because he's only small for a, uh, a light heavyweight as well. You know, even though he's thick set, Looking you, know, at you never know, he, he might be down there. Yeah, maybe. Rematch for yeah, a bigger well, better title. Nelson did say we can always do number three. Yeah. I'd never well, say no, mate. Really, so. Well, do you know something? That, that would be something I'd really look forward to, because the, the, the first two were brilliant, uh, and the second one was just, was just phenomenal, man. Uh, I was grinning all the way through it, and, and hopefully we get you back to winning ways on uh, April the 17th, back at the um, uh, Grand Central Hall. Great venue, by the way. It is a great venue. That's the first time I've boxed there, but... Um, I like it, mate. Even being in the ring and looking up, it's like... Oh, the balcony is brilliant, isn't it? It's good. Everyone's got a good view, it doesn't matter where you, where you sit. Exactly, and not only that, it's... The atmosphere, you know, because Hold it well. you know, if there's, I, I, I don't think it holds much more than about 800 people in there. Um, but even if there's just 400 people in there, because mm. people come, people buy tickets to watch their fight and then they shoot yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, luckily, because we all knew it was going to be a good fight, uh, and was intrigued to see whether he could repeat what he'd done in the previous fight or whether you could redeem yourself, which he did. Um, it made a few people stay, and the noise was fucking tremendous throughout the whole show. It was, it was, it was brilliant, mate. Yeah, so. well, looking forward to going back there and uh, having a win, and then seeing what Super Middleweight holds for me. Yeah, well, I'd like say so. Hopefully, uh, you'll maybe get a day before way before the end of the year, and you can test that out, test the waters, and uh, maybe, let's like say, challenge for the central area at uh, that, and yeah, that I'm could be your sure first stepping stone. No, I don't know who's got it. Who has got it? Hmm? I don't know, but oh. regardless, yeah. Oh, well, listen, um, I, I, all I can say is I know it wasn't the result you wanted, but forget that. Yeah. Those are fights that will live in my mind. We've just mentioned the kid, the kid who you're replacing on the show, Wayne Dill, uh, Wayne Nadeni. Mm. Uh, Wayne Nadeni had a, a, an epic fight with uh, Carl Dilts, must be eight, nine years ago. And again, it was for the Central Area Cruiserweight title. And that was at the Olympia. And um, and I remember that fight like it was yesterday. Mm. I think to the day I die, I remember the fight with you and Leon. It was it was a, an absolute cracker, yeah. mate. And hats off to both of you. Cheers, mate. Thank and you. And good luck for the 27th. Um, we'll be down there. We'll be filming it. We'll be going live. Um, but it, it is a great night out for anyone who wants to oh, come down there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyone wants to come, give me a shout, and I'll uh, be able to sort some tickets out. All right. See you later, mate. Bye. Cheers, mate. Thanks. For all boxing. Info, news and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across the north, click on subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.